uh, Big King 23 have you went to see Invisible Man Shane yes I did if you guys follow me on Twitter I tweeted out that yes I did go to see Invisible Man over um, when did I go see that I think I went to go see it on Sunday or was it Monday no I think I saw it Saturday I saw Invisible Man on Saturday and let me tell you let me tell you, I saw it in Adobe Atmos Theater. This is my this is my Invisible Man review that I saw in Adobe Atmos Theater. It wasn't Dolby Vision Theater, but Dolby Atmos. And I think the beginning of the movie has so much bass in it. There are these huge bass notes that just kind of drop during the beginning of the movie. Insane. I felt that it was bottoming out, bottoming out the subwoofers at the theater. Like it was so strong. The only thing I thought was, this is going to sound awesome at home in about a month and a half when they release it on digital. So I can't, I can't wait to rewatch it again because I think the Atmos is going to be pretty good. Um, it was uh, the Atmos mix was pretty good. Like I said, there was. There's some good, there's some decent effects in the overhead channels. And we're talking about a low budget movie here. I think the budget was like $7 million for this movie. And I think it did like 50 million over the weekend, which is like in like, like an insane um, turnaround for such a low budget horror flick. Actually, I don't even think it was a horror flick. It was more like a sci-fi flick. Um, but, you know, really good sound mix in my Atmos theater for such a low budget movie and the movie itself was uh, really good you know a couple of uh things that you gotta kind of throw out you know logistically but other than that man good solid movie um there was some good jump scares i went to go see it with patrick and you know they had him act like legit jumping out of the seat like i thought it was funny i was like dude what are you doing <laughs> he's like yo that got me i was like yeah i get it yo there's some there's some good jump scares in it like legit ones and the fact that they can uh pull that off with very little effects because i mean let's face it it's the invisible man it's all, a lot of the movies just done with like camera panning and not even like camera trickery just like atmospheric music and moving the camera slightly to make you think maybe he's standing in the corner or maybe he's not and then a pan back a little bit of creepy music a little bit of bass and you think the invisible man's there i mean so pretty really good use like i felt that i could have made the movie myself because it was such a such a simple movie but uh, i mean really really great acting on uh, what was her name I don't know her name. The the chick from uh, Mad Men. Um, good acting. And a little... I like to think there's a little twist at the end. A little bit of a Shyamalan-ism at the end there. Definitely worth a watch. Um, and I can't wait to check it out when it, when it drops on 4K. I think it's going to be a big one. Especially for audio. I think the audio is going to be... I think it's going to be like A Quiet Place. You know levels where not a lot of crazy insane you know sound effects just real uh atmosphere and i think it's going to be really good on uh on 4k blu-ray and you know at the house so uh I'm, re I'm really looking forward to checking that out when it comes out but definitely go check it out if you haven't go if you haven't gone and seen it just a really good move over overall you know good good acting good character development i felt and just overall just uh, really enjoyable 